In this video, we're going to look at countering your opponent's double underhook guard pass. Okay, we're going to talk about how to counter the double underhook pass. So I'm going to take these hooks, like little hooks, I'm going to yank down, open up my legs wide, stomp the ground, and pop my hips all at the same time. Pull tight, and that breaks it. Okay. Again here, hook, like you're doing a pull-up, like you're trying to pull yourself off the ground, pop your hips, feet wide, stomp the ground. Now I wiggle back, back, back. I stretch him out. Then I cross my feet and I squeeze my knees together. My ankles are crossed underneath him. When I cross my ankles, whichever one's on top, I hook his thigh. Make it even harder to lift me, but also it protects his groin because people have a tendency to kick the groin and mix it up. Break the grip. We go back. I'm gonna stretch him out, cross the feet, and I'm gonna hook his, his thigh. Now I'm gonna sit up. Push his head to the side, either side. Then I'm gonna get very, very tight, like this. Can you lift me up? No. No. Sometimes you can tap him just with, yeah, with that. Depends on the guy's shoulders. Okay. Holding him tight. Now I'm gonna switch my hand. Put this hand behind me. I'm just gonna get up. Ideally, you want to capture your opponent's hands before he locks them. Stretch him out. Stretch. Sit up. Cross your ankles, hook. Now I'm gonna push the head either direction. Get tight. Okay? <laughs> can you do anything? Yeah, no. no. The simplest thing you can do is get up. Probably the safest. Okay, so here, get tight. Hand on the ground, hip out. So it's very important when we do this technique that we stretch our opponent out as much as possible. And then we wanna cross our ankles under their belly. By crossing our ankles under the belly, it's much harder for them to lift us or counter us. But some people can't cross their ankles under the belly because the opponent's too big or they have shorter legs, in which case they should simply use their insteps to hook inside their opponent's thighs as if they're doing a butterfly guard. Um, also, we want to grab our opponent's belt and push our torso, our belly, against our opponent's trapezius. That's very important. Additionally, when we get up, we want to keep that belt pull going so that as we get to our knees, we make our opponent do a face plant. If, as often happens in this situation, our opponent's arm is trapped between our legs when we get up to our knees, there are actually multiple submissions we can do on his arm with our legs, not to mention other options like going to the crucifix.